Today is International Day Against Bullying in Schools, so I just wanted to say a few words about bullying. I remember a number of years ago when I was walking into school on a Sunday night, I came across a car and there was a boy in the car in the passenger seat and his shoulders were hunched over and he was clearly sobbing. Um, and his mother was beside him and she was trying to console him. And I later found out that the reason why he was so upset was that he was being bullied in school and he was too afraid to come into school and she was trying to coax him to go back into school. Fortunately, we were able to find out the, 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 what was going on and we were able to resolve the situation and the bullying stopped and he was able to continue in the school and was happy here. But I thought of the number of students who maybe quietly left the school um, in the past because they feel that they were too scared to come into school or they've made them feel too anxious and they just quietly slipped away while the person who was responsible for doing the bullying was able to continue on in the school and maybe find another victim to be able to bully as well. So it made me think of how important it is to try to deal with that, to make sure that that kind of thing doesn't happen. So what do we do about it? Well, certainly if you're the bully yourself, um, then it's very important that you stop that behavior. You don't want to create a situation where you're responsible for that boy in the car or whoever it is that is really upset. If you see that your behavior is clearly upsetting somebody, then stop doing it. Sometimes a bully may not even realize that what they're doing is bullying. They think they're having a bit of crack and teasing. And so it's important to be able to point out to the bully, um, to the person who's responsible for that behavior, um, that what they're doing is not acceptable and that they must stop. So what do you do if you're one of the people in the background? Well, I think it's very important that you stand up for the person, and that's very, very difficult. But sometimes it just means, you know, turning away from the situation, not getting involved or laughing at the joke that's involved or whatever it is, but being able to um, not respond because often a bully likes an audience, and if they don't have an audience, they'll probably stop the behavior and won't continue it. So that's important too. And what about if you're the victim of bullying, which is really important? We want to make sure that you are able to say something about that. So if you can find a, a trusted adult, and that can be anybody, a teacher, a coach, a house parent, um, member of the safety circle, and of course you can come to me and talk to me about it. And what we want to do in the first instance is to try to resolve the situation. There may be just a misunderstanding or there may be an argument or tension between people and we want to resolve that. Or it may be something more serious than that. And if it is more serious than that and if it is continuing and continuing, then we want to make sure that it's the bully who ends up leaving the school and not the victim. So to end on a positive note, what I want to say is this, that I want you to think about one a way in which you can do something kind for something somebody else, um, a random act of kindness uh, today. Um, so think of something that you could do that would be really nice for somebody else and it may really make their day or may change their day uh, and that's something that I want you to think about. So if you can think about doing something today that doing that, I will too and we'll see if we can uh, help improve somebody's day in some kind of way.